In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Retriever, which is an AI automation tool you can add directly into Chrome or use it in the cloud, just like ChatGPT, or even use it by API inside NA10 so that your AI agents can see and use the internet. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I save, like honestly, an hour a day of YouTube research. So instead of every morning coming online, checking all my competitors or competitors videos to see what's the latest in AI, I can now just use Retriever and you do this automatically every single day. Also, I can chat to an AI agent that uses Retriever and Google Sheets that Retriever has gotten the information for to then tell me which video to make based on real life data. Here we go. Here's an example. I tested five AI automation tool nobody's talking about. If we scroll down here, it actually gives us data driven decisions based on the data that it's got in here and here all on autopilot. So firstly, what is Retriever? It allows you to scrape, automate and monitor the web. Basically, it's the best in class web browsing agent at the moment. So from here as well, you can do it completely for free. That is, you get free credits, but you can also bring your own Gemini API key as well, which is cool because you can even get Gemini 3 Flash Preview in the free tier, i.e. you can use Gemini 3 inside of Retriever to go and get information from the internet completely for free. So anyway, let's get into the video. So there are three main ways to use Retriever. First of all, we can use the browser. So we'll use it directly in here, which I'll show you how to do shortly. Then we can actually use it in the cloud. What does that mean? Basically, we can use it like ChatGPT. So if we come over here, it looks like this. I'll show you that as well. And then the third and final way we're gonna show you today how to use this is in the API. Now, what does this mean? So an API is an application programming interface. Fancy word for saying you can use Retriever from something like an NA10 workflow or like from code. So for example, here I have an AI agent which actually uses Retriever's web browsing API endpoint essentially for scraping website data so that it can give me updates on which YouTube videos to make, for example. So let's get into it. First thing to do is go and download Retriever from the Chrome Web Store. You see it here, retriever.ai, and then just add that to Chrome and it'll pop up here. I'm gonna show you how to use it on Google Sheets because we have this here. Essentially, I have a list of channels. Now, these are all channels that I would regularly go and watch, but trying to keep up to date with them every single day is an absolute nightmare. So instead of opening all of these tabs, which I used to do, I had a little script for it. Instead, I have all of them here, and then this was all populated using Retriever. So the way to do that, for example, would be, let me delete them and I'll show you. We'll remove the title and the link, upload time, and the views. We'll leave subscribers and average video. If we open up this here, open up Retriever AI, we now have Retriever here. Now, let me click the plus, that's a new chat. And so here, there's a few different ways we can go about things for like essentially using recipes or templates to do stuff, but I'll show you how you can do your own custom one first. So here we have the context. Now, the context can be different windows that you have open, whatever it may be. This is the YouTube updates sheet. So this is the context, this current sheet. Now, all you have to do is say something like, for each channel, find the latest videos and put the data in the sheet. And if I click send message here, it will go away and it will verify access. And you can see now this turns to say agentic tabs. Now that means that the agent is now using this tab or the tabs that are within here because they can actually go and open up more tabs. There you go, speak of the devil. And you can see that it's opened up a bunch more YouTube tabs so it can actually go and get the information. It will then bring this back and populate this spreadsheet. So it's basically doing my morning analysis for me. So I can just start this, or even better, I can schedule it. We'll show you how to do that on the cloud. But I could just start this, 
have a cup of coffee, do some browsing, whatever I'm doing, and then come back and this will all be populated. And then we can actually talk to, essentially, talk to an agent that has access to this data to then get information as to, so who's making videos about what? Is there a new model release? Should I make a video about that? Does it work with my audience, for example? And we can see that it's populating here. Maybe I should have been more specific about this columns because this isn't formatted as a table. It's just uh, columns with headers. But no biggie. I'll let it come back with all of this stuff and I'll just move. Cool. So now that we have this data here, we could interact with it from here to actually use this as context. But instead, let me show you how to actually do this same thing in the cloud. So if we come to retrieval.ai forward slash cloud, and we can interact here as if it was like chat GPT. But the cool thing here is that it will specifically be able to execute actions on your sheets, etc., and have a high quality scraping agent. Because sometimes chat GPT, it tells you that it can't get you certain information. Whereas a retriever, it's like the best you get. Like if we go to retrieval.ai main page and scroll down, we can see that it actually outperforms ChatGPT, Anthropic on accuracy and on speed. It outperforms everyone as well. So you have the best in the market here. Now back on cloud, we can go and see previous chats by going to our chat library, opening this up. And here you can see I previously got it to create a new sheet called 281225, so for yesterday, and use the same information to populate it. Now I've deleted that just so I can show you how to do it again, but basically recreate this here, which is 29th of December, and get to the 28th of December. So if we come back here, we'll just basically do the same thing. So on agent, we'll go to new chat, and here we want to connect it to sheets. So we'll click on here, and then I already have it connected to my Google, and I'll do YouTube updates, click on that, select. So now it has this sheet for context, as we can see here. And I'll say, create a new sheet named 28-12-2025. Copy the structure, headings, channels, and formulas from the 29-12-2025 sheet. And for each channel, identify the most recently published video on or before that day, and populate the sheet with that video's data, using the same fields and format as that one. So basically, duplicate it, but for the previous day. So from the chat library, we can open this up as an actual chat and that way we can interact with it and see what it's doing much more clearly. So we can see how much credits it's using, what it's trying to do, etc. And we can see that it's just working away here. So we'll give it a few minutes and we'll let it go away and get all that data because it's going to have to go and open up all of these tabs and get all this data and pull it into to the new one. Right, and there we have it. So we have the output directly in here so we can have a scroll through and see what it's bringing back. You see it's also the table and as the actual code. Cool, and there we go. So we have all of the data in the same way that we have for the 29th. We have also on the 28th. So we have two days worth of data now to start looking at trends. Now, from here, if you want this to run every single day, all you have to do is come along, go to your chat, create a new chat, and then we would ask it to do whatever it is we want it to do. So update this, create a new sheet, etc. Then you come to your schedules, create your first schedule, and here you're going to select that workflow. Now, that's why you have to do it first, because you have to go and get a workflow that it's going to run every single day. Once you've selected that, you just give it a name. So we'll just say daily AI updates. And then if we go to schedule here, you can literally just go to daily, First run, we'll do tomorrow, and we'll do that at 7 a.m., so before I come to work. Um, and then that's basically you. Continue. Artifacts. So, reuse mode. Do you want to have reusable artifacts here? So, you could do auto Google Sheets, and then give it the ID of this sheet here. And then you can get, say, a notification here via email, Slack, Discord, or WhatsApp, that it will be done every day. So you can just get an email every morning with your daily updates as to which AI video to make, for example. So it's super powerful stuff here. Now, the next part, as I was saying with Excaladraw, is we've shown you how to use it in the browser. And you can use it to interact with web pages. But then in the cloud, so now we don't have to worry about using it on our own computer. Well, API takes this a step further where it allows you to have some like any 10 workflow, for example, which then is able to basically use the cloud version 
within your workflow. So the example we have here is this AI latest workflow where I'm able to chat with an AI agent which has this information here, but also has an HTTP node which allows you essentially to run Retriever from the agent. So the agent can use Retriever by itself. Now, how do we get all this stuff in here? Just super simple. All you have to do is go to retriever.ai forward slash docs forward slash API and inside here, or even just docs, and then from there you can go to the API, API overview here, and you get the gist for it. But essentially there's three endpoints. There's an agent API, so that's like run and retriever. There's scrape API, which scrapes the data from a single web page, and there's browser as an API. So you can actually have a browser API, which is cool. Now, all we have to do is go on the left to Agent API. We'll scroll down, copy this, and then go into here. And then you want to import the curl, and you paste that in there and import, and that will import it directly in here. Now, your API key that you get here, so this is your key to say that you are you, basically. All you have to do to get that is scroll to the top, click on Get API Key, then from here, you can just add a new key up the top right, give it a name, generate it, copy it, don't share it with anyone, and then just add it in here. And boom, you're sorted. So I'll show you how this runs, and then we will actually go ahead and show you how this all breaks down, because I know it can look a bit complicated if you're not used to looking at any time workflows. And a quick side note to remove the complexity, don't use Gemini or OpenAI for this. Gemini... It doesn't work often from NA10 when you're using web pages that you're scraping. And OpenAI, the reason all those just, honestly, they're just not that good. So let me move that out of the way. We have here, you send a message in. This message goes to the AI agent, which then uses OpenRouter, which we'll show you in a, a moment, um, basically to use Claude Sonnet 4.5 to message. Then has access to Google Sheets, and it has access to that Retriever API. So you can do stuff like this. Which video should I make today? You just send that in. And then as you can see, let's move this over so we can see it better. It's given me a recommended video topic. Do this in the video, video, blah, blah, blah. Why? Explosive trending news. And it tells you exactly which videos here it's referencing to, to back up to do this. Your content gap. So it's actually gone and looked at the videos that I've created as well. And then the market opportunity based on what it knows. And then it gives me a, a unique angle. And then it says here, timing is critical. And it gives me a reason why. And then some expected performance based on my data that it's gone and scraped and the data from the Google Sheets as well. So let's actually give this a try um, just so you can see what it's like. So I'll say, give me another simpler video to do. And we send that in, see it goes to the agent, the agent sends it away to OpenRouter, which is just a place to use different AI models, so I can use, I can flick between each without having to get different API keys. From here, if we open that up, we can see the output is, I'll analyze the current market trends and your channel data to suggest a simpler video idea. So then it goes to Retriever here, if we can see, you can see the input at this current moment, we cannot, whilst it's running, but it's a way of running, browsing the web right now. That's what this AI agent's doing. Now a side note as well is here we can actually add memory. Now I've disconnected it because I'm only gonna do one message. And sometimes it can like store memory and you don't want it to have that information. But basically this memory here just allows it to remember things. So here it will go away and say, scrape my YouTube channel and it'll get that information. And then it will store it in your memory. So then if you ask a follow up question, it will be able to remember that. Now. If we open up the AI agent itself, there is a system message here. And the system message says, you are a YouTube competitor video analysis agent with specialties in quick trend spotting. You have knowledge of both my videos and wider trends. You get two tools. This is the two tools that this AI agent has. I give it the date so that it knows today. Give it my YouTube channel, the Google Sheet, uh, what it's for, and then do not lie or make stuff up. Everything should be based on data. This is to make it data driven because otherwise they can try and make stuff up. And there we go. Hey, good.
time and this is actually good because i was thinking of making a video on this after having seen um the information it got back for the 29th which is basically there is free per free perplexity pro which i use often so uh, video idea how to get 12 months of perplexity pro for free Paul J. Lipsky posted this two days ago and it's got 33,000 views and normally doesn't get anywhere near that view count. Uh, so your content gap, you haven't done many free tool videos, you focus heavily on new releases, but simple tutorials like this can perform well. Gives me suggested titles and then other simple ideas. So this is based on Julian Goldie's video, um, Hamish's video, and then one here. You already did. Already did already have done i don't know anyway bottom line use perplexity so there you go now we can chat and get live essentially and there you go we can chat now with an ai agent and actually get ideas all based on retrievers functionality here allowing the ai agent to see the internet basically turning it into a real person and there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, go and check out Retriever and remember to use your Gemini API key to use it completely for free. Until next time, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.